Hello everyone! In this video I will show you how to create a simple clicker game with this cute kitten and little store with some surprises for him. All of the art and script assets you can get by the links in the description. Let's begin from creating a new scene and put all of the assets to your project window. Then add a background image, scale it and position it in the center of the scene view. Create new UI panel and set canvas scale mode to scale with screen size. Right click on canvas and create one more UI panel. Name one of the panel as game panel. Name another one as store panel. Then double click game panel and scale it like so. Select store panel and scale it so it takes the rest of the canvas. Select game panel and set its colors alpha channels value to 0. Right click on game panel and create new UI button. We don't need buttons text, so remove it. Name this button as cat button. Set its width. Drag and drop cat sprite to source image slot. And check preserve aspect option. Set button's highlighted color to white. Set its pressed color to not so gray. Right click on game panel and create new UI image. Name it hair ribbon. Drag and drop hair ribbon sprite to source image slot. Check preserve aspect option. Position it at the top of our kitten. Right click on game panel and create new UI image. Name it ball of yarn. Drag and drop ball of yarn sprite to source image slot. Check preserve aspect option. And position it at the right side of the game panel. Right click game panel again and create new UI image. Name it milk. Drag and drop milk sprite to source image slot. Check preserve aspect option. Set width and height. Position it at the left side of the game panel. Right click game panel one more time and create new UI text. Name it stroke text. And position it at the top center of game panel. Change font family and font size. Set alignment. Set overflow. Set color as you wish. Game panel is done. Right click store panel and create new UI text. Name it store text. Edit it and position it at the top center of store panel. Right click on store text color field and you can copy its value. Then right click on store text color field and you can paste it. Right click on store panel and create new UI button. Name it ribbon button. Remove its text component. Position ribbon button under the store sign. Drag and drop hair ribbon sprite into source image slot. Check preserve aspect option. Set its width and height. Right click on ribbon button and create new UI text. It will be ribbon price text. Edit it and position it under the ribbon button. Right click on ribbon button and create new UI text. Oops, I forgot to rename ribbon price text. Name this text as ribbon sold text. Edit it and position it at the center of ribbon button. Duplicate ribbon button twice. Name these buttons as ball button and milk button. Change ball and milk button's price and sole text correspondingly.
Position ball button at the center of store panel and milk button at the bottom of it. Select ball button and drag and drop ball of yarn sprite into source image slot. Change height to make ball bigger. Select milk and drag and drop milk sprite into source image slot. Change its height. Then create new empty game object and name it game control. Here is a script for it. All blocks of code are commented, so you can easily figure this script out. Add the script to game control game object. Select game control game object and drag and drop corresponding game objects into these script slots. Select cat button, add new on click function, select game control, select increase stroke amount method from game control script. Select ribbon button, add on click function, select game control, select cell ribbon method. Then select ball button, add on click function, select game control, select cell ball method. Select milk button, add on click function. Select Game Control, select Cell Milk method. Now let's change standard mouse pointer. Select Cursor Pointer Sprite, change its texture type to Cursor. Hit Apply. Then go to File, Build Settings and Player Settings. Here in Player Settings you can find default cursor field and select the Cursor Pointer texture. That's it. Everything is done. Hit play and see how it works. We can stroke a kitten, get strokes currency and exchange it for goods for our kitten. So cute and simple. Hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.